Good morning, everyone. Welcome to this day. It is, I guess, sort of the last day of summer, in a way, because fall begins tomorrow evening. I'll tell you more about that in just a moment. On our show today, uh, we have a segment with United Mutual and Janie Durrell. Also, we have Kurt Weeman on, and they're talking primarily about changes in flooring. If you live on the second floor and want to get some hardwood flooring, well, now there's a way for you to do it. So we'll talk about that. Also, uh, we have a ladies on from the History Center. We have Catherine Bryans and Pat Wilkinson. They're going to be talking about uh, an upcoming event uh, that's happening next week and also about the tree walks, which are pretty darn cool that they're going to be having. And I uh, got some brochures on that. And then uh, Sterling Financial Advisors, we're going to bring you a segment from Dan Allweiler. Now, as far as meetings go today, there are two. One is the orientation meeting for new residents of Third Mutual. If you'd like to go to that, uh, if you're watching us in the morning, you still have time to call 268-2337. If you miss out, they have one every couple weeks, I believe. And also, Third has a special meeting at 1030 today in the Willow Room. What this is is um, kind of doing some unfinished business because of that 30-day rule. If they didn't do it now, they'd have to wait into um, next month or, next, or I think November. So that's why they're having this special meeting today, just to take care of some unfinished business. Now, as far as the weather goes today, well, that nice uh, fall weather, so to speak, is going to continue. Uh, the fog will ebb and flow. That's just uh, depending how much we get each day. As you have seen, uh, we got the temperatures here. Uh, probably a little bit warmer as we get to tomorrow. Then going forward, we're going to still stay at those low 80s. Um, next week, it looks like Wednesday and Thursday, we might pop back up to maybe 85, 86. But that's really about it. Now, yes, I put Sunday as the first full day of fall. Uh, technically, fall begins at about 6 o'clock p.m. tomorrow, Saturday. And then so the first full day of fall will be Sunday. Here's some fall weather for you. And yeah, really, it is because uh, you can see all the temperatures throughout the state are fairly mild. Uh, if you go up to Tahoe and Yosemite, uh, Yosemite's bumped up a bit over uh, last weekend. But still, look at the chilly overnight weather they're going to be having in the, uh, both Tahoe and then Big Bear, you know, going down uh, into the mid 40s as we get to the weekend here. Only 74 is their high. And of course, Palm Springs still at about the low hundreds. That's their average uh, uh, for today and tomorrow. And uh, the rest of the uh, rest of California, though, pretty darn uh, nice for our first weekend of fall coming up. All right, we'll be back in just a moment. Would you like to save money like we do? I want to introduce you to our granddaughter, Erin Reed, who's a Medicare advisor. Erin, can you save my neighbors and friends money as you have done with Grandpa and me? Many of the plans I offer have $0 monthly premiums and can help save you money. There are many different options out there when it comes to Medicare coverage, and I represent all of them. But more importantly, I represent you as the individual. Call today for a free plan comparison. Imagine if you'd grown up with a video documentary of your great-great-grandparents. Family Chronology is a family-owned business here to help you tell your story in your own unique way. In order to ensure that your legacy is passed down to your descendants for centuries to come. Pretty much they have been my life in, the, in recent years since they were born. They have been the focus of my attention along with my daughter and my son and my son-in-law too um, but the grandkids especially have been my focus and I've enjoyed every minute of it And right now we're going to bring you the United Update. This time we're kind of continuing the theme. We've talked about this a lot, uh, alterations and such. So today, 
Janie Durrell is here, and she is, of course, one of the United Board members. And with her, we would like to welcome back Kurt Weeman. And Kurt is the Permits, Inspections, and Restorations Manager. Correct. Nice to have you here today. Mm -hmm. And first, uh, is there before we get into the subject that uh, Kurt is up here for, anything you want to talk about uh, when it comes to United in general? Just we're having our elections. I you hope are. everybody has turned in their ballot. That's right. Yeah, you only have... Uh, what, what is it, the 26th? It's the 26th. 26th. And the ballots so will days. be counted on the 28th. And I want to remind people that I know you can mail them in. Might be a little late. You might need to walk them in. We have the boxes up front here. Right. Yeah. yeah. So there you go. That would, that would be my suggestion. No matter who you vote for, vote. And if you're not voting, we need a quorum. So just bring your yeah. envelope in. Yeah, that's true. All right, Kurt, we're <laughs> talking about um, today something that boy, as long as I've been here, has been a topic, and it's called, and it's flooring, hardwood flooring. And may, over the years, the situation has changed about the rules and regulations, and we're talking about the sound that a hardwood flooring can make. However, many people love hardwood flooring, or, or I should just say hard flooring. It can be laminate, it can be tile, whatever it may be, but the point is, a lot of times people have allergies, they don't want to deal with carpet, they won't, don't want to vacuum it and so on. So uh, we're going to show a, a slide in just a moment. But first, kind of tell us the background and where we are now. Sure. Um, it's been, like you said, hardwood flooring has been an issue, or hard flooring has been an issue here in the community. And it's only been allowed on first floor units yeah. because of the noise trans transmission. And what we're trying to do here is make it open for everybody because it is such an attractive item. It is a big resale item. People yeah. want to you know, enhance their home, get a higher dollar value for them. Plus, it's more hygienic. And like you said, a lot of people with allergies don't like carpet. So for years, it's been against the rules to have hardwood flooring in second floor units because of the noise transmission. Mm -hmm. But thankfully, there's been a lot of interest in this throughout the industry. And they've made some great leaps in the last few years on sound dampening for flooring systems. And I want to highlight the word flooring systems. Because mm -hmm. what we have here up on here in the slide is two flooring underlayment types that are available locally, yeah. both at Home Depot and at Lowe's. And uh, most flooring suppliers can have them. And what we're looking at is a specific sound transmission. It's rated by IIC, it's called impact insulation class, mm -hmm. which basically provides insulation against impact, footfalls, moving furniture, things like that. Not necessarily ambient sound, which can be transferred through the walls and everything, just the actual sound of people walking on the floor, which is what we get most of the complaints. So what we have now is there's flooring underlayments that can be installed by any installer underneath almost any flooring to meet the new restrictions. Okay. And the restrictions are, um, if we had to test it, and there's a big procedure for that, if we had to test it, it has to meet an IIC of 50. Okay. Which is middle of the road, that's building code for mm -hmm. new buildings. So, and it's easily attainable with some of the property, permanently avail the materials available now. Okay. The slide shows the one at, uh, I believe it's Home Depot, that has an mm -hmm. IIC of 70 which is phenomenal. If you can get 70, you'll never yeah. hear anybody talk. The other one is 60, which is the minimum we're going to allow. Okay. So to sort of clarify that is, when you buy a product, it has to be rated at 60, because when they get installed, they somehow can lose some of that rating based upon the building it is and, okay. and the installation process. So we're giving people a 10-point sort of buffer. Okay. So that, you know, if you put in something that's 50 and we test it and it's 45, it's going to have to come out. Yeah. And make sure that when you hire a contractor, he's aware of our rules and he is responsible for them. So that's, that's yeah, basically it in a nutshell. Okay. Now, looking at, looking at this, I would assume if you're going for a hardwood flooring, a laminate, engineered flooring, probably more of a floating system. Uh, Correct. Uh, on something like this. Yes. Which is a lot easier to install. And it... it <laughs> Flooring, even a laminate, will expand and contract. So the floating system, I think, that's what we have at home. And uh, now tile, could you do tile over this? Some, some of these you can do some okay. tile on them. A traditional um, thin set mortar tile, no. Okay. There are some cork underlayments okay. that can do that, but whether or not they, because of the variances in their installation process, mm -hmm. uh, they may or may not meet the rating. Okay. 
but uh, it's up to the installer and the member to make sure that they meet the rating. Okay. And I, I, as I said, um, I like this idea. Uh, I know when we put our laminate in, uh, which is on the um, first floor of our home, we don't have to worry about anybody living above us. But at the time, we used the thickest vapor barrier that we could get, not only for the obvious things, you're putting it on cement if you're on the uh, cement subfloor, but even for us walking around, we didn't want to hear that loud noise. And it's really nice. To this day, it's, it's still more of a softer sound. So th this stuff is good, and it's only improved compared to what we used you know, 12 years ago. Correct. Yeah. And it's, it's not very expensive no, either. No, no. The, this, um, the one at Home Depot is one of the higher end ones, and I can't quote you a price on it, but it is reasonable. It yeah. is compared to doing the size units we have here in United, it is quite reasonable. Yeah, so a great way to go. And obviously, if anyone um, is looking to do this, they have to go through the proper channels. And uh, you no, know, we are, we're, we're going on the trust system. Oh, on this you one. are? Yes, okay. be, the All reason right. why we don't. We don't have the staff to go out and inspect every flooring. Okay. This right. is going to be complaint based. Okay. Um, so if someone installs a flooring above you and it's loud, give compliance a call. Okay. And then there's a process we go through for testing it. Okay. So we're not going to go through and test every unit. We're not going to go through and inspect every unit. We're just making everyone aware that the new rules are in place. Okay. But if a contractor comes in, the, they have to go through the process. Not for flooring yet. No. It, what about getting in the gates, you know, the usual stuff they have to do? They can come in as a vendor. Okay. Because uh, mm -hmm. it's only a day or two job to do Okay. It. Yeah. All right. That's, that's good mm -hmm. to know. And uh, I think that if somebody goes ahead and, and does this, uh, you always have a little bit of leftover. You know, maybe keep a sample of this in, on hand. So, you know, if you do get a complaint, they, somebody comes by, you can go, this is what I'm using. You guys can test it. And, Great idea. You know, it's, you know, you got one extra step there. That's an right. excellent idea. Yeah. And also, yeah. like I mentioned earlier, make sure your contract with the installer yeah. states that they are aware of the Very flooring good. restrictions here in United Village. Okay, and they can get those. Uh, are those online on the alterations or? Yes, okay. they will be online on the alterations page. Okay, yes. very good. Now, uh, tell me about your um, moving your office, am I correct? Yes, we're very excited about that. We're going to have a designated office for alterations. Okay. It's going to be in what is now the Spruce Room, okay. which is in the, the sort of the back corner of the community center. Yes. It'll able, enable us to focus. You know, where we are now is sort of cramped. We have an area, maybe two by two of counter, yeah. to, to meet with residents and discuss with them. We're going to have a 10 foot by four foot counter where we can sit with residents, open up plans, and have time okay. so that you know, they won't be in that, yeah. the, the hustle and bustle, if you That'll will, of nice. the resident services section. Yeah. Yeah, so we're also going to have a separate uh, area in there for one-on-one -on -one meetings with our inspectors, for people who have the more complex projects and want to walk through them with us, we can set up appointments and they can come in and get dedicated time with an inspector. Okay. So we're really looking forward and to it. And what's the time frame on that? Uh, look, we're looking at the end of October. We've okay. done, the flooring is done, the painting is done, we're just waiting on the uh, actual furniture. Okay, again, that'll be on the bottom floor? On the first floor of the community okay. center. When you come in to the resident services now, you make a right behind mm -hmm. the counter there and uh, we're in the back corner. Okay. Very good. There will be a lot of signage. We are putting up new signs. <laughs> That's exciting for us to yeah. know that we're going to have a better place for our contractors to come in, get their permits, yeah. our members to come in and work with uh, the staff so they understand exactly what the process is for getting approval for alterations. Yeah, we're excited be, also. And it's important, right? You've yeah. talked about this before. Absolutely important, yes. And we just saw here that there's a right way to do things. and. Now that uh, you know you, you've found a way that people can upgrade their manor to harder flooring if they'd like, but do it the proper way, and really, mm -hmm. it's not it's not going to cost you much more at all. You need some sort of underlayment anyway, so you know it's yeah. well worth it. The board and my committee <clears throat> is very excited about this new policy. Yeah, I think a lot of people will. Yeah. Exactly. Very good. Yeah. Okay, anything else you'd like to add for today? Not really. Just don't forget to vote if you haven't. That's very important. Yeah, it is. Mm -hmm. And uh, as, as Janie said, and, and so have uh, others from, from uh, Third as well, is the quorum is the big thing. If they don't get the quorum, 
you know, you got to do it all over again. You That's don't want right. that to happen. No, no. No. So <laughs> even if you decide not to vote for somebody, please send, if you send the ballot back in, that fulfills the quorum. Or just bring it into the community yeah, center. Yeah, that'd be better. Lack of lack of time. Yeah, lack of time. That would yeah. be a good thing. Two boxes yeah. are downstairs, so you put it in the right one, and uh, you'll be all set. Okay, great. All right. Thank you. Nice to see you again, yeah. Kurt. Nice to see you. You too. Good news yeah. on that. Yes. We're excited. Yeah. You're doing a great job. Yeah, very yeah. good. All right, we'll be right back. Hi, I'm Wendy Miller, your Laguna Woods real estate professional. Have you been looking for a realtor? Wendy Miller helped me through the challenging process of real estate here in Laguna Woods. She was helpful, she was fun, she was professional. I really recommend her. Whether you're thinking of buying, selling, downsizing, or even relocating within Laguna Woods, I am your real estate professional and can help guide you through the entire process. Give me a call and I'll help you make the right move. Looking for a change of scenery? You don't have to play golf to enjoy all that 19 Restaurant and Lounge has to offer. From a delicious breakfast menu to our delectable lunch and dinner specials, at 19 Restaurant and Lounge, there's something for everyone. Relax with your friends and family and take in the beautiful view from our spacious patio. Or enjoy a cocktail and appetizer in our lounge. 19 Restaurant and Lounge is a great place to socialize, enjoy a meal, or simply take in the view. Join us seven days a week and experience Laguna Woods' exclusive dining experience. Welcome back with me today, a couple ladies from the History Center, and I know that uh, you know them well. Catherine Bryans is here today, and uh, Pat is here as well. And um, you know what? I was thinking about this this morning. Uh, are you folks, you know, you kind of go back and forth. I know you do Friends of the Village and the History Center. They kind of work together in and, many Well, ways. they provide information. <laughs> Yeah, they work pretty well that way. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, because I know that uh, you've been on in the past. You've kind of the talked about both village, things yeah. uh, together. And today, though, we're talking about a couple things. One of them is uh, you're having a, a wonderful uh, celebration coming up next week. Celebration <laughs> breakfast. We're also going to talk about the tree walks, and that's something you folks have been working on for about a year, and we did a video a while back on uh, one of them, we the did. one along the creek, but there's three separate ones. So mm -hmm. let, let's first talk about this continental breakfast that's coming up next week. It's a celebration of just yeah. the completion of all three of these walks and how important they were. And honestly, I've done the public relations and I've done uh, getting funding, but Pat and Jean Lustig are the ones who really did the in the on the yeah. ground work and putting this all together so we want to celebrate them as well as completing this project in terms of the first printing mm -hmm. actually we've gone to second printing because they've been very very popular and we're happy about that um, but it's just been a complete departure actually for what the history center normally does but we were getting all the questions yeah is there something what can we do and so Pat and Jean decided to get all this done and we wanted to celebrate them at this breakfast next Wednesday. Um, it is a continental breakfast at nine o'clock at the History Center, which for those who don't know is right next to the library. Mm -hmm. Looks like it's all one building, but it's actually yeah. two. Um, and so we've got all these folks hopefully coming and enjoying the celebration. It's not anything more than just a party to celebrate and to honor some people that worked really, really hard. Very good. And you have the brochures over yep. here, Pat. Yeah, they are. And uh, as I said, we, d we did a video on the Aliso Creek one, but there's two others as well. Yes. yes. Friendship Walk. Mm -hmm. And uh, the last one Serpen is the Serpentine. And the Serpentine, yeah. which is the last one. And what's really nice about these is you, you not only show where the walk is on a nice map, but you know, there's different uh, uh, trees that you can kind of find on your own and look for. Right. And you give a history on uh, these, not only the, the specific tree, but really about um, the tree itself and native to the air or not native, whatever it might be. 
and it's really kind of neat. This is something that, so not only is this a, a nice walk, is it you know, something the History Center is putting out, it's really talking yeah. about California trees as well. Exactly. And yeah. there really is no native trees around here except for some of the sycamores yeah. and a few others. Right. Because Mr. Cartesi brought in like 55,000 trees from all over the country. Yeah. And all over so, the world. All over the world, mm -hmm. yes. And so we had a rather unique situation to start with. The good news is most of them have made it. Some didn't. Yeah. But uh, it's just a wonderful celebration of what makes, I think, our community very, very, very special. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All the trees. They talk about tree cities, and I don't know if they do that anymore, but we're certainly a tree city. And the there's so much history to these trees here. Oh, there's As I learned. The yeah. Fascinating um, information about these trees. Mm -hmm. And they are from all over the world. I don't think there's one country that we don't have a tree from here. Right. Now, who, so. when, when you did the research here, who did you work with as far as the trees themselves go? Jean Lustig. Yeah. who was in the Garden Club. She and Ann Rowland were um, the initial people who started this project mm -hmm. and working with Jean at the History Center. There had been a lot of people coming in and wanting to know if there was information on the walks. And these are the original vintage walks that go back to the 60s. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the, they're back when all... the trees were tiny, tiny. <laughs> yeah, there weren't really tinier. trees, they were like saplings. <laughs> well, some of them anyway. <laughs> but this is, they're all in United and they're all easy to, to find. But Jean did the research and picked the trees. She, would, she did the original walks and figured out which trees would work and were the most interesting. Then I did the photography and put the brochures together. Mm -hmm. So it was a wonderful um, working relationship the two of us had. Didn't know each other before this started, so. And just so, a lot of work, because it would be something work. just to say, okay, here's the serpentine walk, and here's where it is, and here's a map, or whatever. Uh, but to go out and have to do the research of each one of these trees, and culminate it in specific brochures with photos, and that's a lot of work. I mean, each one of these, uh, you know, have a, a good paragraph on them, yeah. and, you give on here kind of where these trees are located so people right. can mm -hmm. look well it's be between this manner or this uh, whatever it might be but it's amazing i mean it really is it's uh, Plus, fantastic how do you pick out a tree You're <laughs> in a right. sea of trees right and make it so that people can actually find the tree on mm -hmm. the walk to find where it is sort of locate it by written material but yeah also the picture and give the information and there's so many trees so what do you pick and they yeah. did a good job yeah they, they did, did. A good job. the difficulty for me was finding the angle to photograph it so that it wasn't um hidden amongst all the other trees yeah. around right. it and um and that can be difficult that was that was a challenge <laughs> you know you did and you know looking at these and now i have a question for you some of these trees are in different areas in other words, you might have the same type of tree there that you mm -hmm. do in this one. Did you take one photo and put them in each, or take the oh, unique no, photo? Oh no, each one's free? individual. Wow. And even I if they're like a sycamore here, yeah, a sycamore there. I probably took thirty pictures of each tree to begin yeah. with, and then you know worked on until I found the one that I liked. And sometimes I went back, yeah, trying to get Getting it on it in the proper day with the proper light. And the serpentine was held up for a while until they had leaves on the trees, yeah. so it could yeah. be photographed. Yeah, the so. last one, was, we waited until um, spring because the trees were off so many of them. Yeah. So that's why the serpentine was, uh, was the latest one. Well, it, this is just fantastic. And where, where can people get these? Obviously, the History Center. At the History but. Center, we, we take some over to the library because okay. they have a little more extended hours than okay. we do. And are there some here in this building? I believe they're, I don't know where they are for sure. Yeah, they might be, they might the be downstairs floor. where it the might stand be downstairs. is. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, with and all I those. think they're, they were talking about putting them in one, one, two, and five, I think. Okay. Clubhouses. Clubhouses. All right, yeah. so they're nearby. Mm -hmm. Very good. I think this is uh, tremendous work that everyone did. 
Uh, Pat's not with us today. I mean, excuse me, um, Jean, Jean Lustig mm -hmm. is not here today. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, we got to... But you'll be able to meet her if you come for the Continental Breakfast. We're She'll be there. <laughs> yeah. So, and that's, yeah. that's really... And I think I met her when we went out yeah. that day. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. And she, yeah. and she and I did the original This Day. Yeah. About them when the first one came out. That's when amazing. Came out, so, so a lot of hard work. I think this is wonderful. You can pick these up and take a nice walk. This is, I, I've been telling you, the weather's perfect right now to go out exactly. there and do that. Exactly. And it's also a good time for people who don't know a little bit about the History Center to come in and find out something about us as yeah. well. As I said, this is a little bit of a, dar a departure, although the trees are historic in their oh, yeah. own way in the community. I um, totally it was agree. just seen in need, and because we are an independent 501c3, it's important for us to get information out, so hopefully we can get some donations and a little help that way too. All right, very good. Catherine Bryans, Pack Wilkinson, thank you very much. I want to just once again uh, commend all of you, everyone that worked on, on this, because this is a lot of work. This wasn't just put together yeah. quickly. <laughs> it took a year or more. It took hundreds of photos and putting everything in the right order and giving people information they can and really use. And we are blessed so. by village management to underwrite the cost yes. of yeah. printing. Yeah. Fantastic. Very proud Good to see you both. Good Thank to you. see you. You take you care. Can. We'll see you again, whether right. it's for this or, who or Friends well. of the Village or who knows what it might be. <laughs> exactly. All right. We'll be Thanks. right back. Have a great day. I'm Dr. Trin. You may know me from Memorial Care, Alzheimer's Orange County, and Irvine Clinical Research. Alzheimer's is the third leading cause of death in Orange County. The problem is, we're making this diagnosis way too late, after the damage is done. We don't want to wait for this to happen. We want to catch this early. Please come see me for a free consultation and discuss ways to minimize your risk for Alzheimer's disease. Imagine if you'd grown up with a video documentary of your great-great-grandparents. Family Chronology is a family-owned business here to help you tell your story in your own unique way. In order to ensure that your legacy is passed down to your descendants for centuries to come. Pretty much they have been my life in, the, in recent years since they were born. They have been the focus of my attention along with my daughter and my son and my son-in-law too um, but the grandkids especially have been my focus and I've enjoyed every minute of it individual care specialized care at Harvard Eye Associates, your vision and quality of life can be trusted to a group of specialists that provide advanced technology for the treatment of cataracts, including laser-assisted surgery, a broad range of intraocular lenses, and astigmatism correction. Come join the circle of care at Harvard Eye Associates, where the future of vision is today. Hiring a realtor you trust is the first step in selling your home. Selecting an escrow company that can safeguard your money and personal information throughout the transaction is the next step. Escrow Options will guarantee the safety of your personal information and funds from the risks of wire fraud and cyber theft. Choose the escrow company that works for you. Escrow Options Group, protecting consumer assets in escrow since 2005. Welcome back, folks, to this segment of Safe Money Retirement. This is Dan Oweiler, your retirement professor. I want to talk to you a little bit today about investment tools and investment ideas. We've talked a little bit about that in the past, but I want to show you a little bit of an example that I've learned as I've worked with people over the last 30 years that are getting ready to retire or already retired. Okay, And that is, where do we put our investments? We talked about Safe Money Worlds in our last thing. 
We're going to talk about that a little bit more today because where do we put our money? Well, we use stocks. We talked about bonds, real estate. We can get commodities. We can get uh, annuity contracts. A lot of different things that we can put our money in that will invest our money for us. Now, when we invest that, as I talked to you in the first segment here a few weeks back, we, wanted, we have four different things that we can invest our money for. We can invest it to have it grow. We can have it generating income for us. We can make sure that our money is going to be safe going forward. And we want it uh, to provide some liquidity or tax benefits. Okay? Those are some of the goals that we have as we invest in these things. So when we invest in stocks or mutual funds, we want our money to grow. That's what it does. It doesn't provide as much income as much as it does growth unless you're getting some dividends or things like that. Bonds provide us income, okay? They're going to pay us a monthly or a quarterly dividend or semi-annual. We invest in the other ones that we can invest in, CDs. We invest in CDs because they're safe. Not because it's providing income to us, but because they're safe, all right? So we can invest in incomes. If we want it liquid, we could be CDs or real estate, but... All these things are things that we can do. Now, what you need to ask yourself is what is it that you want out of retirement? What are the hopes and dreams that you have going forward out of your retirement life? Now, many times as I sit down with people and ask them this, they sit and think, they say, well, Dan, I want to be able to travel. And I want to spend some time with my family. And one of the things they also said is, I don't, want to be, I don't want to be concerned about the future. I want to feel secure. And I want to be able to have the freedom to do what I want. All right? These are all things that people have told me. All right? They, um, they want to have peace of mind. And most of all, they say, we want to have the health to be able to enjoy retirement like we want, okay? These are all the hopes and dreams that people have as they are moving into retirement. Well, the thing that I have to ask you folks is, out of all these three columns, which is most important to you moving forward? Is it the stocks and bonds, or is it growth, or is, are these What's most important to you? What I have found over the last 30 years is this is the number one most important out of these three columns. These things are most important to people, and it's hard to get this without getting this. So this is number two, and this is number three. And so what I have found is that people rate this in order of importance. It's if this is number one, these are just the tools that we use to get our hopes and dreams. But what I have also found is, is that many times people become married to their tools and not their hopes and dreams. Because in 2008, when the market was crashing, they certainly didn't have peace of mind and they certainly didn't feel secure and so they kept their investments hoping that it would come back. And so they traded their hopes and dreams for their investment tools. And so what we want to talk about is basically not becoming married to your tools, but becoming married to your hopes and dreams. And so hopefully in our next segment, as I talk to you about that, you're going to understand how you can unconsciously become married to your, hope, or your, to your tools instead of your hopes and dreams. And as we look into that, I think you'll understand going forward that it's more important to keep your hopes and dreams as your number one goal rather than the tools that you use in retirement. 
Well, folks, we just got through talking about not becoming married to the tools that you use in investing, but actually becoming married to your hopes and dreams, what you want and the goals that you have in retirement. And so I'm going to talk to you about the concept of becoming married to your tools as opposed to your hopes and dreams. And so we're going to go to the board here. I've erased your hopes and dreams on the other board, so we're going to actually use a, uh, another board. But I want to show you in 2000, uh, the market had, had a nice run from the late 90s up to March of 2000. The market hit a high of 11,700. And then the dot-com bubble burst, right? And we ended up having a market drop all the way down to 7,800. So we lost 38% there. And then we had a nice run in the market of it going up until 2008. Remember what happened in 2008? It hit a high of 14,164. That was the very high that it got in 2008 before it collapsed. Actually, it was October of 2007 when it started, but 2008 was the big uh, year. And then we lost all the way down to 6,600. So we lost 55% in one year, all right? And then it's climbed all the way back up. I think it closed yesterday at 18,000, plus or minus, depending upon the day, okay? Let's just assume that. Well... In the stock market, we want to buy when? We want to buy low, and we want to sell high. So that means that we all bought here, right? And we all sold here. No? Well, why didn't we all sell here? There's a reason we don't sell there, folks. There really is. And the first reason is, we, the reason we don't sell at the top is because we get greedy. We think the market is going to go to 18,000 here, okay? And so we don't sell here because we think, Dan, it's going to go to 18000 I'm going to miss up, on, mess, uh, up and sell and not be able to get some of that growth. Well, let me show you what happened with some of my clients. When the market got here at about 9000 I was telling my clients, you may want to get out of the market because it looks pretty dicey. This, this dot-com bubble has burst. The market's collapsing. At about 9000 I was telling people to get out of the market. They say, Dan... I need to wait till it gets back up to 11,000 and then I'm going to get out, okay? Well, when it got back up here to 11,000, did they get out? No. Why not? Because the market was going up, right? They were getting greedy. And so they didn't sell here at 11,000 and when the same thing happened here and the market was around 12,000, I was telling people, you may want to get out. This looks like a dicey economy coming up. And they say, Dan, I promise, when it gets back up to 14000 I'm going to sell and get out. I can't afford that anymore. When it got to 14000 did people sell? No. And why didn't they sell? Because they get greedy. Okay? And so what happens is, is that we didn't sell here, okay, have they sold now? The market's at an all-time high, right around 18,000, all-time high. Why don't we sell? Because we think it might go higher and we get greedy. Well, if you're age 45, that's different than if you're age 65 or 70 because we may not have the time to make this back up, okay? And so you have to understand that you might have felt good during this time. Remember we talked about our hopes and dreams? of feeling secure, having peace of mind. This provides that, but did you feel f safe and secure when the market was going down? Those are things that you have to understand that if you didn't sell here, okay, did you feel secure? Did you have peace of mind? Because if you didn't, you were trading those hopes and dreams of retirement for the tools that we're using in the market. And so you have to understand there's a difference between how you invested getting to retirement and how you invest getting through retirement, all right? The second reason we don't sell here is because we don't like to pay taxes on the gains. None of us like to pay taxes. And Dan, if I sold here, I would have to pay some capital gains tax. Well, you know, folks, if you pay taxes 
at 15% capital gains rate, that's a good rate. What you're telling me is you don't want to pay 15% capital gains rate and you're willing to ride the market down 55%? Does that make sense? Well, what this illustration wants to show you is, folks, is that you don't want to become married to the tools that you use. You want to become married to your hopes and dreams of retirement. And you adjust the tools that you use to make sure that your hopes and dreams are being fulfilled, not the tools that you use. Hopefully this helps you, helped explain exactly what you needed as you set up your hopes and dreams for retirement. Well, hopefully some of these concepts has helped you in planning your retirement, folks. If you'd like to take advantage of sitting down with us, we'd be happy to offer you a complimentary consultation. Just give us a call at our offices. Our number is 859-8900. Our website is sterling, F as in Frank, A as in Apple.com. We'd be happy to sit down with you and talk to you about what your hopes and dreams are in retirement. We hope you have a, a safe and secure retirement. Thank you. It's your retirement. How will you live it? How will you be remembered? Will you be able to take me on vacation? Will you be there for my ball games? Will you teach me your values? Will you be able to play with me? Oh, help me go to college. How will I remember you? Have the retirement you dream about. Contact us today. When I was first diagnosed, they gave me about two years to live. After they took it out, they did some additional tests and it found out that yes, it was a cancerous tumor. I had an aorta dissection and that triggered a stroke on top of it. I've been in treatment a little over two years. They saved my life. If I hadn't been pregnant, they would not have found that mess. If it hadn't been for Ben, I might not be here. It was amazing that he has knowledge to do what he has to do to save me. When you travel with AAA, you get more than a vacation. You get exclusive AAA member benefits, special offers on unforgettable experiences, and the travel planning knowledge of your own AAA travel agent. When you travel with AAA, you get the vacation of your dreams. To save on a pleasant holidays vacation, visit your local AAA travel agent today. Sonia Khan here, who's with Luxury Travel, and she is a concierge. Welcome. Thank you. It's just a pleasure to be here. I've been looking forward to this. I'm well, very excited. Well, thanks for having. Or thanks for coming on. And so, what does it mean, concierge, when it comes to travel? Concierge is not someone who pushes buttons and says yes, you're set. A concierge takes care of everything. Everything. You walk out the door, and it's finished. And concierge makes the number one choice for wood flooring and more is la carpet now during their two-day sale visit their showroom now and get 65 percent off wood flooring laminate and waterproof flooring plus get five years zero percent financing LA carpet, number one for you Imagine a life. Now imagine this life belongs to someone you care about. Someone you love. Your spouse, your parent, your child, best friend, sister, 
coworker, or neighbor. Of course, you'd want the best life imaginable for them, a life with caring, meaningful relationships, the chance to succeed in school, fulfilling, challenging work, and a rewarding career. In short, you'd want them to have a long and happy life. Now imagine there was something keeping them from these things, something that prevented it from happening. something invisible, powerful, and often overwhelming. The good news is people can and do get better. With treatment and support, up to 90% of people with mental health challenges report a better quality of life. The bad news is most people who need help don't seek help. Why? Stigma. Stigma is the brick wall. Stigma is the fear of being quickly labeled and having people judge and form opinions about you before they actually know you. Stigma can keep a person from seeking help and living the life they deserve. So what's the solution? Honesty. Because honesty is stigma's weak spot. When we speak honestly and openly about mental health, stigma loses its power. Honesty breaks down barriers and removes obstacles, so people may seek help sooner. Families and friends will understand how to help and support. Schools become more accepting and understanding. Businesses place a person's value where value should be placed. And people understand and reach out to others. Because a simple thing like honesty creates a culture where one thing doesn't define someone. It's just one small part of what makes a person, well, a person. Each Mind Matters is California's mental health movement dedicated to creating and fostering open and honest conversations about mental health that break down the barriers of stigma. By increasing awareness of mental health, change happens all around us. Families and friends learn how to help the ones they love. Systems and services adapt so assistance is readily available if needed. Communities recognize the importance of mental health. In fact, 80% of people believe that recovery from mental illness is possible, and more and more people are willing to socialize, work with, and live in neighborhoods with people with mental health issues than just a year ago. But your support and investment is vital to keep the movement moving to reduce mental health stigma and enable people we love to live the lives they deserve. I've been with Clear Choice about six years now. I have my wife sitting next to me. She was tired of me seeing a what all the time, and that's when we sought out a hearing specialist, and we fell in love with Clear Choice right away. The hearing aids work great. I gave them referrals. My son's got hearing aids from Clear Choice. My neighbors got hearing aids from Clear Choice. And in my mind, Clear Choice is, should be your number one choice. Come in to one of our locations for a free hearing evaluation. Clear Choice Hearing Aid. Hear better, live better. Hi, I'm Brian Rott, President and CEO of Cartmart here in Laguna Woods. My family's been in the golf cart business since 1959, and we win our customers over with the simple belief of, we treat you right. We are proud to be the authorized dealer for Club Car here in Orange County and your go-to source for the sales and service to other major brands. We're conveniently located on El Toro Road, just minutes from Laguna Woods. So come by and see for yourself while when doing business with Cartmart, there's no reason to go anywhere else. CEO Brad Hudson is uh, going to be resigning. His last day here will be uh, effective on October 15th. Brad, of course, started here in, I think it was January or February of 2016, uh, right after the transition into Village Management Services. And uh, uh, in the meantime, after uh, his retirement, the current COO, Siobhan Foster, will be taking over. And uh, then from then on, um, I don't know uh, what the plans are, but uh, she'll be here and she's been here for quite a while. So she certainly knows everything that's going on in the village. So we wish Brad well. 
but he will be uh, leaving here on October 15th. So um, if you haven't heard about this, you want to read a little bit more, you can. It's on the Village website. And uh, we wish him well. Obviously, we'll have him on before then. And uh, he'll probably still be at a few more board meetings because I think there's the annual meetings coming up and uh, you might just see him there as well. All right, I want to tell you about the movies and a uh, good movie today. Uh, this is a, a comedy called The Book Club. It stars Diane Keaton, Jane Fonda, Candace Bergen, Mary Steenburgen. And also uh, we have, um, I think uh, Don Johnson is in this and uh, also Andy Garcia. Just a great, great cast. And it's all about lifelong friends whose lives change forever when they read the book Fifty Shades of Grey in their monthly book club. And uh, from there, well, hilarity ensues. So it's really a funny movie, and I think you'll, uh, you'll enjoy it very, very much. Um, uh, something just kind of lighthearted and fun for a change. So this will be at 2 o'clock today, <clears throat> and at 7 o'clock, 2 o'clock, has the subtitle version. Then on Monday, a very different movie, based on a true story, this happened back in the 1970s from what I understand. It's called Adrift, and it's a story of love, loss, and survival at sea, uh, about a young couple that uh, they just happen to meet each other, a chance encounter, and it leads them to falling in love, and then on the adventure of a lifetime, as they go out to sea in this uh, sailboat here, and all of a sudden a big uh, hurricane comes in and how they deal with that. So very interesting movie, Shailene Wardley is in this, also Sam Claflin and Grace Palmer. Um, Shailene, you might recognize her, she's been in a lot of, lot of different uh, movies over the years. I, re I recall uh, my daughter watching one of the American Girl movies that uh, she was in. So uh, this will be a, kind of an adventure movie, a love story, a little bit of everything coming up on Monday. Now, uh, coming up this weekend is the Health and Business Expo. This will be on Saturday over at uh, Clubhouse uh, 7. And it starts at 10 o'clock, goes to 2.30. Uh, you know, Leslie Coretti, she's down, picture her down in the corner. She does our trading post on Thursdays. Her uh, Laguna Woods Professionals Club is putting this on. You're all invited to go. There'll be raffle prizes. There'll be all kinds of guest speakers throughout, uh, throughout the day. So if you'd like to attend, just show up at Clubhouse 7 beginning at 7 o'clock. And again, that will be at 10, uh, 10 o'clock from 2.30. You can come and go as you please. The guest speakers are slotted like every, um, say I think about every uh, half hour they have somebody else speaking. So if you'd like to take advantage of that. Coming up on Monday, the Tea Party Sentinels will be having their monthly meeting. This will also be at Clubhouse 7. Doors open at 6.30. And then the meeting starts at uh, 7. The guest speaker will be Mark Ng. And Mark is the Orange County Coordinator for uh, Republican Johns Cox campaign for the governorship. So if you'd like to join them, again, doors open at 6.30. The meeting starts at 7.00. And uh, over at Clubhouse 7, it's free to attend. Just show up, and there'll be, um, he'll be the guest speaker. And then afterwards, they also always have questions and answer time as well. Now, coming up next week on Thursday, Clubhouse 5, the Comedy Club, will be presenting Dick Hardwick. And he has a, a quick wick and off-the-wall off the sense of humor that has served him well over the years. He appeared on uh, Jack... Jeff Foxworthy's syndicated radio show and numerous television appearances. So join them, uh, Clubhouse 5, Thursday, and uh, let me see uh, the time on here, 6 o'clock. So uh, they'll have a cash bar there, uh, and then the show will start at 7. You want to get there a little bit early, enjoy some drinks, and uh, as far as um, what it costs to go, residents are $7, non-residents are $12, so it'll be a a night of, of comedy for you. Now, uh, as far as, oh, one other thing I want to tell you about very quickly, because it's coming up fast, and I think they, uh, I know they still have space available for this, and this is the casino night happening at the Florence Sylvester Memorial Senior Center. This will be a week from Saturday on the 29th, and 6 o'clock to about 10 o'clock, and this is a lot of fun to go to. It really raises a lot of money for them. Tickets are $25. And that will get you $100 in play money as you gamble the night away. 
uh, your winnings will go to raffle prizes as far as uh, when you win, how, many, how much of your play money you get. They'll have all kinds of things that uh, you can go ahead and uh, uh, bid on. I think what they might be doing here, I don't know if they bid on it or sometimes what they do, they have baskets out there and you just kind of put your money into whatever basket that uh, you, might, you might win and what you might like to win. Uh, sponsors are the uh, Memorial Care Medical Group and uh, a lot of fun and it really goes to a good cause. So this is Saturday the 29th over at the Florence Sylvester Memorial Senior Center. So check that out. All right, the weather, uh, just beautiful weather continues. We might be uh, a little bit warmer tomorrow, but overall we're just staying in the slow to mid 80s uh, trend here with going down to the low 60s overnight. And that looks like it's continue, I mean, to be honest, for another five, six, seven days. I think it was we go into Wednesday and Thursday, uh, or excuse me, a Tuesday and Wednesday of next week. We might see things bump up a bit, but not much at all. Uh, not gonna be any change uh, coming forward, at least into the middle of next week. So really just great weather wherever you go. And um, I love this kind of weather. As I said, the first day, first full, first full day of fall, is Sunday. Uh, fall actually begins about 6 p.m. tomorrow night, but the first full day will be Sunday, and I always enjoy fall. Now, of course, there's always the chance that we end up getting the hot, dry winds. That's not unusual as we get into October. But here we look around uh, the state, and it's beautiful everywhere you go. Mild weather, a little bit warm, of course, in Palm Springs, but everywhere else, just very, very nice. Look up and down the coast, might get a little fog here and there, if you go up to Tahoe, beautiful weather, still in the mid 70s, getting chilly overnight at 38. Uh, up in Yosemite, about the same thing. They'll hit about uh, 80 over the weekend. Big Bear, about 74, 75, going down to 46 overnight. So the mountains right now, if you can get up to those, maybe uh, go up to uh, Oak Glen, you know, where um, Riley's Farm is, the apple picking, or down to Julian, or something like that. Uh, the next couple weeks to go down there, just going to be wonderful weather for it, not too hot and uh, beautiful, as I said, around the state. All right, we will uh, see you coming up on Monday, and we're going to re get a report from Third Mutual and Breastlink, Seven Day Dental, and the India Club is having an event coming up, and uh, Susmita will tell us all about that. All right, you take care. Bye bye.